Hey Deckers, today I want to talk to you about AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR3 as they have made some recent announcements and what this could mean for the Steam Deck in future as well as what is going on with SteamOS 3.5 and we originally actually covered this back in May even though there have been a ton of Steam Deck beta updates it seems like 3.5 is still far far away even though we get great benefits like the new overlay better graphics drivers, some other great features such as HDR, bringing HDR to the Steam Deck with external displays, better SDR support for that content as well, soundtrack integration into Steam, but there are quite a few bugs that still plague us, but I cannot go back to SteamOS 3.4 after having 3.5 for so long, so hopefully we'll get an update on this soon. Now it does beg the question whether FSR 3 being announced now will also come with SteamOS 3.5 with the new graphics driver which is a huge possibility because they haven't released it yet and this FSR 3 capability is driver enabled. Now it will also be game enabled but there is also something very special about FSR 3 which I'll cover more towards the end so stick around. But what I want to talk to you about is at the moment FSR 2 is still not fully rolled out everywhere. Baldur's Gate 3 came out with FSR 1 so it's still being implemented on a game by game basis. Although Baldur's Gate 3 said that they are going to implement FSR 2 in September which is actually when FSR 3 is releasing. We'll be very interested to see whether they actually do make the jump to 3 or whether they do just stick with 2. But with around 300 games with FSR 1 and 2 currently implemented, it does seem like there is still a lot of catching up to do. Now, Forspoken and Immortals of Avium apparently in September are going to be getting FSR 3 patches. And let's face it, they really need it especially running it on the Steam Deck. Now, what's very interesting is that FSR 3 is saying that it's supported on the 5700 above, but recommends the 6000 series. That's for the full feature set, although they're saying that there may be some restrictions on the supported only. However, if you don't have the fluid motion stuff and they do support just the upscaling, it's actually going as low as the 590 series, but recommends the 5000 and above. So there may be some restrictions on some of that lower architecture but at the minimum it will get those upscaling capabilities and it's also said that it will come to the console APUs so we can fairly confident say that the Steam Deck should be able to do this. Now with Forspoken currently on the Steam Deck running FSR 2 even in ultra quality or performance modes it really struggles with 30 plus frames per second so we are really interested to see what FSR 3 can do with them touting the FSR capabilities for version 3 tripling frame rates, even if we only get double frame rate, this will massively help on the Steam Deck. Now, Immortals of Avium with the FSR 2.1 integration is managing to hold 30 frames per second for the most part. We do still get some dips under that 30 mark. Check out our full video on this. But again, just doubling that frame rate or even one and a half times the frame rate with FSR 3 implemented will massively improve the experience. They've touted that there are 12 games coming this year, potentially. We know that obviously Immortals of Avion and Forspoken are definitely happening next month, with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora also launching with FSR 3, as well as Cyberpunk 2077's version 2, which will also come with the Phantom Liberty pack. So it's great to see there's some big games coming here, and one that you may not know of that you really want to keep an eye on is Black Myth Wukong. And if you haven't tried Starship Troopers Extermination, that really does need some FSR integration. So that should be also very cool when that drops. They have some incredible support with some massive studios already. And they have also stated that it's going to have an Unreal Engine plugin for FSR 3 and the HyperX integration, which we'll talk about in just a second, which will be absolutely phenomenal for the FSR integration in future. Why do I say this? Well, AMD have done something very special and I'm going to leave the man himself to tell you about it on this one because he says it much better than I can. But the engineers at AMD are pretty special and they figured out a way to put fluid motion frames into HyperRx. And that means pretty much any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game running the AMD Adrenaline HyperRx software is going to get the benefits of fluid motion frames, frame interpolation and generation. So there you have it, starting next year, any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games will get some immediately benefit from the fluid motion technology. 
which should improve frame rates up to double for any DirectX 11 and 12 game in future. They said that's launching early in Q1 2024, so it really is going to be a very interesting time for the handhelds and me push the need for a Steam Deck 2 back a little bit further if they can get that FSR 3 integration, but even if they just get the hypermotion frames, it's going to be more than enough on deck. Let us know in the comments below what you think of where Steam OS 3.5 is and how FSR 3 is going to change the game for the Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.